um, today I am going to be showing you some lovely things that you can do with stone. So we'll call this stone art. So here I have printed off some examples that have been done in some of the craft classes that I've taken and then some that have been searched on the internet. So there's loads of ideas, there's loads of different things. So you can be a adventurous with this or you can keep it really simple. So the fun part of this is searching through all different stones. These stones here I have gotten, my daddy has a brilliant collection of stones in his garden. So um, I have sorted through them and brought them in and there's all different shapes and sizes. So depending on what you're doing, um, you can just find a stone that suits it. There's also different things you can use in it. There's some like driftwood in these examples. You can find beautiful driftwood on the beach. There's also just out in the garden, I've got like different branches that you could have, you know, like a branch and you could have your little birdies all just sitting along the branch. In the one I'm gonna show you today, I am gonna do this little simple one here. We're gonna keep it quite simple. So. Really what I do is sort through the stones to find the little littlest ones and the little birds here. So I have sorted through and got some stones here. I usually like to um, plan it out first before I get sticking and gluing and anything like that. So what I do usually on just a bit of paper is I would have um, draw my line across and then I'm going to do another wee line here and I'm going to set my wee birdies on top so if you just you can just sit and rearrange these on it pop them down and set them there and for this one really all you're doing is just like little lines like your beak and your little like legs so you just you don't have to be a fantastic artist or anything for this because you're just using like just a little shape and like little lines for your legs so I'm gonna start doing so I'm gonna have this little birdie he's gonna be looking out over this way and I'm gonna pop down my legs and this is just me practicing where I'm gonna put this wee birdie I'm gonna have him looking up and then I'm gonna have his wee legs there too. So then this bird, I'll maybe make him, he can look out this way and then have his legs. So the good thing too is before you do any gluing and when you're practicing the lines and stuff too is these can move about. So you can actually move them away if you need to put the lines up or anything and then you'll be sticking them on top. So. I would do the same down here, I'd have my wee legs and then I'm just moving that one out of the way there and have legs here and maybe have this one looking that way um, and do the wee end one. He can look down as well there. So you've got your little thing so what you can do is set this and get your wee frame and on top and see what your composition is like. I am using here today, these frames are from, um, these are actually from Ikea. You can get frames at all different places, you can get them relatively cheap. Um, I just think these look great, the box frame for putting your stone art into. This is actually a little example that my mum actually did at one of the craft classes that I did um, just in the past there. So what you need then is you can get like this is just actually a little bit of scrap card so if you've got um just then any just heavier duty the like paper or card you know for putting in just really into the back there and i'll pop that there and you can have your re-example sitting you know in front of you and you can kind of you know, copy where you want to go with that so i sometimes then you can change it about too so i'm going to have my line going across and then i'm going to have this one maybe down here and what I'll do is then just the same as setting the wee birds on it so move that slightly over and then have that beak and then have his legs again two wee lines and then that wee one can be looking up bring this wee bird over there. Let me birdie there. And the 
this way you want. I'm gonna maybe pop him over a wee bit there. Make it might look a wee bit better. And this one here. Maybe actually have that one coming towards that one too. And again the things. So also what I can do is I find that's a wee bit too high up there but because you haven't glued anything and you haven't popped it in the frame you can move your frame to where you want it on that so I'm going to move that out of the way and what I'm going to do now is get these glued I'm using just a hot glue gun um, but you can use any type like super glue or um, just glue you have in the house. It would have to be a stronger glue than the like, like PVA or anything like that because they are the stone sticking. So either two ways, you can just put your glue just down straight onto that and pop your wee stone on top. Or else you can put a bit of glue just in the back of the stone and have it. glued on move that over sometimes with the um, glue gun it can get a wee bit stringy um, I don't worry about that um, just let that happen for now and just afterwards what you can do is you can pick off the stringy bits so move that slightly over there and can see just might be able to see actually enough there's just like the stringy bits but all you do then afterwards is just pull them off give that a few seconds just to let that dry off a bit there and then what you can do is pop it into your frame now I'm gonna just trim a bit along this So it's all set and ready to go. You can give it a wee dust. Um, if you set your mount into here. And then you can pop that in. And then I just turn it around to see where I like, you know, the best in it. And that looks good about there. You can use a bit of sellotape or masking tape, just the mask around the edges, or else you can just set it straight in um, and you put the back onto that. And I'm just looking around for the back. There we go. So pop the back onto that and then push down and that is your stone art framed there you go you've got a lovely little stone art to add to the collection thank you so much for watching